So today, let's get ready together and try some new products. So I'm coming in with these Eyelure Wax Brow Products. <laughs> I also used one of their brushes. I, uh, it's, it was okay. It, it was easy to blend. The coloring wasn't my favorite, but I feel like it did match. You see how I have like a red tint to my hair? I feel like it matched well, so yeah. First impression of that stuff, I liked it. And you know, just doing my brows like I normally do, carving them out, making them look as unnatural as possible. <laughs> then setting them with this Eyelure uh, Brow Setter, which I liked. It kept them down and it felt like it dried super fast. Like my, it felt like I was brushing hairspray in my brows. And this is a Smashbox primer. I've used it before. This stuff definitely dries fast and you have to set it. If you don't set it, it's gonna make your shadows apply patchy. So, yep, do that. I'm using the Tartlet Toasted Palette and I'm taking the shade Warmth and putting that in my crease. I really like this palette. It reminds me so much of my palette, like so much of my palette. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just applying that shade to my crease. And then I go in with the shade, what shade is this? Latte and no, 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 Cozy. That's the shade Cozy, Melissa, <laughs> and deepening the crease. I really didn't know what I was doing. I just wanted to touch every shade and put it on my eye. And yeah, just taking Cozy and deepening those creases. Back and forth motions, take your time. Then we're gonna take that sparkly brown in Crackle and deepen the outer and inner Vs. You totally don't have to do this again. I was just going with the flow of this. Halo eye is what we call this in the beauty world. <laughs> and then take the same brush and uh, blend it out. Blend it out. I totally recommend this palette if you love Tarte Shadows and you like these colors. If you want an affordable version, you should pick up my palette, shameless plug-in. <laughs> and then this shade Flame, I added a base just so it showed up brighter, if you will. You don't have to do that. It would have showed up without it. I just, you know, wanted something for it to stick to. Go back in and clean up anything that you'd like. I added some more warmth and blended it out and I'm packing in more of that crackle shade. I go in with Fireside in the palette and add some more and then highlight my brow bone with s'more. Remove the tape, see a masterpiece. <laughs> I'm taking this Lorac pen, pencil liner, which I actually like, but if you don't store it upside down, then it tends to dry out on you, which I am not a fan of, but just be sure to store it upside down and all the product will stay at the tip of it and it'll stay nice and wet. Uh, going in with these Eyelure 126 lashes and then prepping my skin, I'm using this Bare Minerals Skin Tivity. Am I saying that correctly? What is it? Skin Longevity. I don't even know what this thing does, but it makes my face look moisturized. Even on the bottle, it doesn't say really. Just says empower, replenish, renew, fortify. Anyways, <laughs> I primed my skin with Laura Mercier primer. I'm liking it. And this foundation is the It Bye Bye Lines Foundation Anti Aging Skin Smoothing Invisible Coverage, which, ah, let me test it out more for you. And this is the ColourPop Cosmetics Concealer. I love the way that this feels. It reminds me so much of the naked skin, but this is more sheer. And it's really easy to use, really blendable. I like letting this sit on my face a little bit before I um, blend it in. But so far, you guys, I am really digging the ColourPop Cosmetics uh, concealer. And then for contour, I'm using this NARS uh, foundation or foundation contour stick and just blending it out. And then I go back in with the sponge, set those under eyes with this Laura Mercier. Uh, Secret Eye Brightening Powder. I don't know, I just go back and forth between this and the translucent, but yeah, I don't know which one I like better actually. I feel like this one leaves my under eyes with a little bit of a white cast, but it definitely does brighten more. Anyways, <laughs> set your face with your powder. I have completely gone pan on that Makeup Forever Ultra HD powder. And then warm up your face using this Too Faced Chocolate uh, bronzer legit smells like chocolate and these Marc Jacobs liners you guys are my favorite I love them so much and I'm just using a brown to smoke out the lower lash line I obviously wanted this to be like a toasty smoky eye 
and going back in with warmth in the toasted palette and blending out the lower lash line. Then take Cozy so it's just that nice transition. And you guys know I like that sparkle in the inner corner so I mixed uh, Simmer and Flame just to pull those shades on our lid together and then took Crackle, that brown sparkly shade, and added it to the outer portions of the eye. Don't forget mascara, of course. And moving on to the nose, I really am terrible at nose contouring because I have a break in my nose and I just, I don't, I don't know what to do with it. Help me out, girl. Help me out. <laughs> I like the inner corner. I used Sunrise and S'more. And then just go back in, you know, make everything more smoky. You know, lashes change your eye shape. So I just go back in and smoke it out. Then we're going in with this Tarte Blush Palette. And I don't remember what shade I did. Ooh, sorry for all the noise. I'm in my makeup room right now. Uh, what shade did I take? take? I took the shade Kindred. And then this uh, It Cosmetics Contour Palette. This is old old news but I went in there with that I want to try some new contouring powders if you guys have any suggestions let me know down below and then I am going to carve out that contour with the translucent powder just because it looked choppy and messy this Ofra highlighter which is part of the Nikki tutorials collection oh my gosh I love it I love it I'm not too sure how this would work on fair skin tones though but she's super fair so I'm assuming it works for all of us, girl, but I love it. Looks so great on this bronze skin. And then I took this L'Oreal Infallible, which this formula is a little sticky, not going to lie. And I didn't know I wasn't recording, so I'm going to have to list that down below the shade. And yeah, that's the complete gets ready with me. I really enjoyed this palette. And I'll let you guys know how I feel about the Bye Bye Lines Foundation and everything else that I use. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.